Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reading a book called A Little Spot of Honesty, a story about trust and, and integrity. Hi, I'm A Little Spot of Honesty. Did you know being honest is more just about telling the truth? It helps you so show integrity and earn respect too. It also builds strong relationships and encourages people to be honest with you. And that's why I'm here to show you some examples how to be honest and true to yourself, to, to yourself and others. Is it all lying bad? Is all lying bad? And what if the truth can hurt someone's feelings? I think it's very kind of you not to hurt someone's feelings, but there is ways to do without lying. But all you need to do is find the positive situation. For example, you may not like someone's outfit or drawing, but you can always find something nice to say that is still true. I drew this for you. I love the green you chose. How do I look? You look so happy. I love seeing you try new outfits. A birthday party or holiday is a great time to think about being... How, uh, how to be truthful without hurting fe someone's feelings. Like, if you get a present you already have, instead of blurting it out, I already have this. Try. I really love th to read this. This book will come out handy when I come across tough words. And what about when we play pretend? I like, like, when I said my room covered in glitter... Ooh, we've read these two books. Never let a unicorn scribble and never let um, a dinosaur scribble. Yeah. There they are. Like when I said my room got covered in glitter scribbles, but that didn't really happen. Is that okay? Absolutely. Using your imagination is so much fun. As long as the other person knows what you're pretending. Also, it's important to learn the difference between real and make-believe. This helps you learn when you can exaggerate or when you should tell the truth. How about when you are joking? You might say things that aren't true. It's fun to laugh and be silly, but when you j joke, remember to n let people know that you are kidding. Look, I'm an apple statue. Just kidding. But what if telling the truth get me into trouble? There are times when telling the truth will be hard, but it's the right thing to do. In these situations, it's especially important to tell the truth because it builds trust. Trust is very important when building relationships with friends and family because it leads them no because it lets them know they can depend on you now. You can also build trust by doing what you when you say what you're doing. If you agree to clean the table, make sure to do it without without being asked. Another example is when you were told to brush your teeth. You can do it without being asked. Again, this shows people you are responsible too. There may be times when you don't feel like doing something like your homework. It's very important you always do it on your own work your own work if someone else does your homework for you or copies someone else's work that is dishonest and, and is called cheating when you cheat you don't give yourself a chance to improve and grow when you are honest and do your own work you're showing injurity look i found a dollar Finding something value can be very exciting, but imagine if you were you were one that lost the item. It would make you so sad. If you ever find something that doesn't belong to you, try to find the owner. You can be honest, even if no one else will know. You can practice being honest every day with your words. You can do this by learning the difference between talk and gossip. Talk. Talking is great for sharing items, honest. 
thoughts and real experiences with people around you gossip that's how rumors start gossiping or telling or repeating stories that may or may not be true these stories could hurt or embarrass someone rumors can be can be really hurtful because they can involve quickly and spread fast i had to go to the dentist why were the kids saying I went to the principal office and got in trouble? Even if it was true and he really was in trouble, it wouldn't be being right to share something that could embarrass another person. You know you can squash rumors? The best way to stop a rumor is to not repeat it. Before you repeat anything, ask yourself why would you want other people saying this about you? Is it ever okay to talk about another person or tell something you heard? Great question. If you talk highly about someone, that is okay. Sharing how someone helped you or or is a great friend is a gr or is a great friend is is a kind thing to say. Here's some other seniors Sen seniors of when to tell. Or, or when not to tell. To tell or what not to tell. Truth. When should, when should you tell versus truth. When should we, you not tell. Tell and don't immediately if you hurt, hear someone will hurt themselves or others. Safety always comes first. Don't tell secrets that might embarrass others or reveal something that was meant to be private. The last thing I wanted I wanted to talk about is being true to yourself. Not everyone will think you're the best artist or have the best style, and that's okay because we need diversity. Finally got that word correct. And the word needs you just the way you are. We need div diverse ideas, diverse talents, and diverse perspectives. You honest, be honest with yourself, and you will find your spot in this world. And one thing I learned from this book is to do not be dishonest or lie. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, comment your opinion, and give a thumbs up. I'll see you in our next video. Bye!